Hi, I'm John Grove, and this is the Two Minute Message. There seems to be a lot of natural and man-made disasters going on in the world today. Many people are being displaced and are being hurt, and many people are dying. Ten years ago, on September 11th, 2,996 people died in the attacks in New York, Washington, and Pennsylvania. No one had marked on the calendar that day that they were going to die except the terrorists themselves. But of course, God, who has planned every day of our lives, He knew that would be the day that would be the end for those people. Proverbs 15:11 says, Death and destruction lie open before you, and even more so, the motives of our hearts. God knows that the human heart is bent towards selfishness and sin. And because that is the case, the idea of dying and appearing before God could be terrifying. Because the scripture also says, it is appointed for all of us to die once and then to appear before God in judgment for everything we have said and done. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sin and to rise from the dead. And by doing so, he gives a power to change our lives so that this selfishness and sin that is within actually changes under the great power of God and we learn to live by faith and love. Let all of us, therefore, especially call on God and pray for that change that we might be filled with his will and his love. The answer to last week's quiz is Nabal. The question this week is, name the chapter of Psalms which tells us how long people will usually live. Is it Psalm 23, Psalm 90, or Psalm 139? 